हेलो गाइस आई एम रिचा बंसल फ्रॉम आई आई पी एस डी ए विवी इंदौर टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू हाउ यू कैन क्रिएट अ वेबसाइट एंड होस्ट इट इन ऑन अजियोर यूजिंग सैंड बॉक्स सो हियर आई स्टार्ट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग यू शुड नो अबाउट वॉट इज अजियोर एंड वॉट इज सैंड बॉक्स Microsoft Azure firmly Windows Azure is a cloud computing service created by Microsoft for building testing deploying and managing application and services through Microsoft managed data centers so Now what is sandbox sandbox gives you access to Azure resources this sandbox is an area of docs.microsoft.com that is designed to be a place where we can experiment play with new technology and get feedback on ideas now i tell you how you can create a wordpress website so first so first for this you have to sign in to the azure portal using the same account you activated the sandbox as by clicking on azure portal you can redirect to the link secondly you have to expand the left hand navigation panel as you have seen left side that is a create a resource symbol from this from the top of the azure portal navigation list you have to select create a resources this option takes you to the azure marketplace the screen you are seeing is the azure marketplace here you can you have to type wordpress after typing wordpress you have to select wordpress option in the drop down list as it is the fourth step of creating the website the azure marketplace has many services solutions and resources available for you to use since we know that we want to install wordpress we can do a quick search for it in the search the marketplace box the listed application option type in wordpress select the default wordpress option from the list of option available as i had told you earlier after clicking on that you are visited this place in the newly presented panel you will typically find additional information about the item you are about to install including the publisher a brief description of the resources and the links to more information make sure to review this information select create to begin and process to create wordpress app after selecting you have visited this type of form where you have to write app name subscription resource group database provider app service plan location application inside these are the some information which you have to put inside it after this as i have told you the form is will appear and you have to write app name you can write any na name which you will comfortable with so this will be this name will be uh, look like an url of your website for example if we put blog for dot azure website dot net is a name for our new website here you have to write subscription that is consider subscription resource group as you have to use use existing name so this will give you give your application a proper way database provider should be mysql in app and app service location will be directly given by them you have to not use anything there 
and application inside will be the same name which you have given for the application name this will be the seventh step of your application now moving to the next step in the app service plan panel select create new option as we all know that after selecting that app service plan you, they will come with a pricing tier so you have to not have to worry about that you just have to use s1 standard as as your cost all of its services this services are not free of cost but if you are some some service user of the azure then you can get this as i am the msp so I, I i'll get the benefit of using this as it is of free of cost for me as ninth on the ninth step in the new app service plan panel enter a name for the new service plan next for the location pick central us to make sure we pick a region that allows the service plan you will pick normally you would pick the region that is closest to your customer where offering the service you need you can as we all know that we are the user of india but we have to not mention their india you have to just use central us as this service is free for that reason as you are the locality of that after that select pricing tier to see the performance and feature option of the various type of service plans after that the spec picker allows you to select a new pricing tier for your application this screen opens to the production tab with the s1 pricing tier selected therefore select a new pricing tier for from the dev test dev tab for our website select the dd dev test tab and select the f1 pricing tier then select apply where you are seeing on the left hand side orange color box you have to choose that after choosing that back on the new app service plan panel select okay to create the new app new plan and close the panel finally select the create button to start the deployment of your new site here you have created your website and hosted on the azure but how you confirm that your website is deployed so the next step is how to verify your website is running the deployment of the new website can take a few minutes to complete and you welcome to explore the portal further on your own we can track the progress of deployment at any time select the notification bell icon at the top of the portal if your browser window width is smaller it may be shown when you click on the eclipse icon at the top right as you are seeing the notification panel just click it select deployment in progress to see the details about the resources that are created after that notice how resources are listed as they are created and the status changes at to the green check as each component in the deployment completes here you are seeing the window where the progress of deployment is undergoing for example we have created a name of application that is block 4 so here it is tell us how the progress is how the person you you can just see how many users are using it there are some websites along with that wordpress service plan block 4 are some more so what we see now deployment succeed oh wow it means 
Once the deployment status message changed to your deployment is complete, you will notice that status in the notification dialog changes to deployment succeeded. Select go to resources to navigate to the app service overview. Wow, it means your website is now deployed on Azure cloud. Now, at last, find the URL in the overview section, which you are seeing on the right hand side. That is https colon slash blocks for dot azure website dot net. This is this will be the URL for your application. Copying the URL information, open the new tab in your browser and use the information to browse to your new WordPress site. You can now configure your WordPress website and add content. Wow! It means finally your website will be deployed. This technique is called SAS that is software as a service of Azure. So at last thank you